Welcome everyone to a new series I'm starting up. I don't know if it's going to be a consistent one. I don't know if it's going to be a uh, one that you guys enjoy. I'm testing it out to see if you guys like it. But I'm doing a server server series for Unova Legends. And no, they're not sponsoring me. They're not asking me to do this. I decided I wanted to do a Pixelmon series. And, you know, they seem pretty good from what everyone's been telling me. So I decided to use them. So I went ahead and chose my starter, which was Chimchar, but I may request it to be the new Alolan ones. Uh, don't know yet, depending on how things go. But apparently, this is a very story-driven, uh, a very story-driven server. So hopefully that will work out. Jump in front of the portal to start your journey. So uh, talk, talk to Officer Jenny. Watch out for Pokemon thieves. There have been reports of that in the area lately. Oh, well, please stay inside. Wait, my mom's gone. My mom is gone. Must be taken down. What could we possibly manage that? Wait, you're just wait. Yeah. Okay. Are you? Oh. Tch. Welcome back, folks. And I got my Litten. Yay! <laughs> All the uh, starters on the server are seeing to start off as shiny, so we get a jig guaranteed shiny on the server. Uh, this one, not bad actually, because. Uh, Litten is actually a physical Pokemon, so it's actually not that bad. So, I got my Pokemon. Uh, I believe Xylo is on at the moment doing a, his live stream. I may join him, I don't know. But right now, I think it's time we really start the episode. Alright, now that we have the starter we wanted, let's proceed on to the next route. I'll start our journey. We started off with this book right here. Let's read it. Help me. Dear Traveler, I am writing to you in need of help. The universe reaches and as you know, has been taken over by the cruel team known as Team Plasma. These villains have destroyed our beloved cities and towns. Nothing is the same as it was before. Many people have tried to help us in our quest to save Unova, but they have all failed. N is nowhere to be found at the time where we need him the most. A new leader has risen from Team Plasma and is responsible for corruption in this region. I beg of you, whoever you are, please help us take down Team Plasma once and for all. To start your to do start your journey, do slash info for startup guide. P.S. I suggest you don't join a team or create your own of brave trainers. The ruler of plasma will be waiting at the top of Plasma Hall. Good luck. Sincerely, you will know soon after you beat your mate. Oh, I forgot. I sent a package of items due date. Kate, daily kit. Hmm. Let's do that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well. Let's see. If I keep following this route, there it is. But first, let's do a claim. Pokey stop. Oops. Got a ooh magma riser and a normal gem. The magma riser is a very good pick. Pick up. Now let's see. On route three, route one where the journey begins. Should have a boat. Do I have a boat? Huh, hold on. Kit daily. Does that come with a boat? No, it does not. And now my inventory is just full. Oh. Alright, it was a good thing I went back for the boat. I was not swimming this entire way. Hmm. Two trainers, huh? Let's get some first battling in. Squirtle, huh? Mm, disadvantage, but let's take care of him. 
Luckily, he does not know any water attacks. And let's take you on. Polywag. And... Ooh, Tentacool. Scratch attack. Your Pokemon needs some training. <laughs> Got some free money out of that. Hmm. A lot of Pokemon under the water. Maybe I should come back and catch some water Pokemon. Definitely can't do this entire thing with just a fire type and oh, more trainers. <sighs> Why do I keep falling in the water? Let's go. Shoulder. Shoulder. Ooh, ice shard. Alright. Oh, a Zubat, not a water type this time, huh? Let's do an Ember. <laughs> Thank you, that was a level up. Let's continue on. It's not my turn night, though. Hmm. What is that over there? Huh. A lot of boats here. Oh. Alright. Okay. Huh. West welcome to Mist Ice City. It's the city of magic. Is this where the first gym is? In one market. Huh. A lot of stuff around here. Hmm. Alright. Wow, that must be the gym up there. Ew, so much trash. Hmm, let's check out the gym. See. Welcome to the psychic gym to join. Uh huh. Level caps 25. I'm barely level 10. And it's a 3v3. I definitely need two more Pokemon to join my team. Then I have a goal. I have a. I have something to work for towards. Time to get to work. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed that little RP section of the series. I don't know if I'm gonna continue it. It seems a little fun, but I don't know. Right now, um, right now, uh, oh, hello. But right now, I'm trying to uh, figure out what kind of team I want to bring into it. Definitely, I want to use the starter for it. It's not a dark typing yet, but still a good Pokemon to use. And as you can see in the computer, I've caught a few when I was just running around with Xylo a few days ago, but some of them were gifted to me. Uh, this Rilu was actually a one Xylo gave me, as you can see right here. And Z the first gym is a psychic type this gym, so I don't think it's going to be seeing use here. But I think the ones I'm going to use is probably going to be a Larvitar or a Ponyard. I think? Larvitar does not evolve into a higher level, into, into a higher evolution until much later. So I think I'm going to be bringing in the Ponyard. Now for the third choice, among these, the level cap is 25. So Mawile's out. Cast form might, it's, might not be a good choice. We Relu is definitely not going to be a choice to bring in here. Happini, too much of a risk right now. Need to train that one up. Um, but yeah, maybe I should go look around, see what kind of other dark types or and such I can use. Hmm. Not entirely sure what to use. Hmm. Looking around here, I don't see that many great choices. Bunch of unknowns, too. Hmm. Let's see. I don't 
do not see anything that really sticks out to me as something I could potentially use not only in this gym but the one after as well hmm Huh. It's a psychic gym, so the two types that would be, well, three types that would be best against it would be Ghost, Dark, or Bug. I'm leaning towards Bug right now, and I'm not entirely sure though. Hmm. Let me look into it a bit, folks, and I'll come right back to it. Now, I took a look around, There's a few bug types, I think I'm going to settle on the Liliani. Not sure if it's going to be going in the gym, but having it on me wouldn't that be that bad of an idea. Oh, this thing is tanky. I know, I know Ember would destroy it. Dang it. Scratch, okay. Now let's catch you. Let's throw a regular Pokeball at you. Should be low enough level where that's effective. Let's see if I use Fury Cutter. <sighs> oh man. Dang it. Is there another one in this area? Actually, would an area dose be that bad? Hmm. Let's let's catch you first and see. Uh, of course, critical. Try you. Did I just hear a? Uh... Yeah, that's a total dial. Where though? You're coming from over here. Oh, there you are. Could definitely use a good water type. Ooh. Let's throw a great ball at you. Ooh, come on. Last chance. And the old dial is gone, and that's my last usable Pokemon. Alright, well, maybe we can catch a total dial later. But for now, I should probably be heading back to that gym. Let's see, modest. Ooh, this is actually not a bad spinner act. Okay, well, let's head back. Warp, gym. Now, let me check the move pool for both Ponyard and Spinrack before I move any further. Alright, so after looking up uh, Spinrack, it turns out, well, it may know a few good bug moves. It's mainly in the uh, whole special physical attacking and the nature I have is actually quite the opposite of what I need <laughs> since most of the good moves it does learn is in the physical move department so fortunately Spinarak you're not going to be used I'm sorry buddy for catching you and making you waste your time huh, but I really don't know where to go I've warped back to an area where a lot of Pokemon tend to spawn at which is Xylo's uh, little mountain area He's he invited me I'm building a base near here 
Nothing really is there other than just a chest with inside of the claimed land. Don't really need to show that off just yet, but right now I'm just moving around, looking around. Ooh, Miastic, hey buddy. But don't really see any Pokemon that are really worth anything right now. Or at least worth catching right now, I just Is that a... Oh, that is a Gibble. Okay, and it's female too, so that's good. Okay. Oh, this is not good, this is not good. No, no, did not mean to throw that. Quick ball. Yes! Oh my god, that's actually a very good capture. Let's check you out. Mm. Okay. It's not so bad, but I caught a gibble. That's actually very good and very rare, actually. They only spawn during five minutes between the time of dusk and only in mountain areas so the fact that I found one and was able to capture it is a good thing oh god okay I may have inadvertently found my third Pokemon for this well I guess the only thing left to do folks is to start training alright folks so after looking into some of the Pokemon a bit uh, Ponyard is not going to evolve for another 50, until level 50 something. I don't know if he's going to be that much useful, so I went on a bit of a catching spree and I caught a Punkaboo. I actually found a Hat Pikachu, a Drudigan, and a Turtwig. Now, I decided I'm going to go with a Weedle for the Psychic Gym because a Beedrill can be very quick. can be one of the quickest Pokemon I can use using twin needle and all that hopefully this works out and I'm hoping to find a mega stone for it eventually don't know how well it's gonna work out but for now that's what I'm planning on using don't know if I should switch out the punkaboo for the uh, for that one hmm not sure yet but for now, I think this is the team we're going to run with. So, let's get to some training. First off, uh, let's actually get Linton to evolve. Fire Fang, good. Hey, come on, buddy. Level 17. I forgot these had like odd evolution numbers. Oh yeah, I forgot about this new evolution that the original Pixelmon team was released before uh, everything. Toracat. Awesome. Uh, okay, buddy. Next. Let's. Weedle's not gonna be that hard to level up. So let's give a couple levels to the Ponyard. Ooh, faint attack is not that bad. Okay, level 20. Let's get both of these guys level 20 at least. Yeah, Roar's not that great. Okay. And I guess, if anything, I can get this guy to level 7. Kuna, and then level 10 to Beedrill. <laughs> Alright. Now let's see what we can train on. 
Okay, there we go. Uh, probably should use his life orb in this, but I'm not sure just yet. Uh, deposit the apricorns. At least when we get it, can get a farm going, we can make it a decent size. Uh, not sure if I use the fire. If I should use the fire gem just yet. Hmm. I feel like the gibble might not be a bad shout, but at the same time, I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. I'm still not 100%. I know I want to use Torah Cat. For this journey, I definitely need to be using my starter. But at the same time, I'm not sure about the others in the party. Such as Beedrill. Like, I, I know Beedrill can be very fast. But at the same time, I know Alakazam can be quick as well. And I'm not sure if, it, if it's going to learn the proper bug moves by the point where I need him. Uh, I'll look into it a little bit more, folks, so... Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, folks. We have all our Pokemon ready for the potential gym battle. Now, I've equipped the Black Belt to Ponyard while the Life Orb is going to Beedrill. Beedrill might be the key player in this, as he's gonna have the speed and the bug-type moves to hit him. I gave him the move... I gave him the move X Scissors as a very powerful uh, bug type move, and I'm hoping that that he can he can hit it fast enough to where hopefully uh, to where hopefully he cannot retaliate. I'm not sure how strong the strategy is going to be, especially since um, I'm since I'm thinking that they're most more than likely going to have an Alakazam, and if they do, that's going to be bad for me. So. I'm just gonna have to wait to see how this is gonna go. But I'm hoping that this strategy does work. I guess the best thing to do is just wait until I'm picked up for the gym. Alright, welcome back folks. Now this is good now we're at the gym battle and I'm hoping that uh whew, now this is a bit nervous, but you know, first gym battle, even if I don't win, you know what? I think I think I'm I'm gonna do my best no matter what. Uh yeah. I'll put understood. Yes. Alright, I think Ponyard might be the best choice to go first. Whew. Okay, a Mr. Mime, huh? Let's start setting up a Fury Cutter. Doesn't affect Ponyard. Ooh, magical Leaf, okay. Okay, that's double power. Okay, that's a Mr. Mime down, that's one down. Soul Rock, huh? Let's try doing one. Okay. Okay. Starmie, it's definitely gonna outspeed me, so this might be the end of. Rapid spin. Okay, did not felt like I over prepared, but why didn't they use a water type move? That would have been that would have been killing me. But well, we got the gym badge. Well, okay. Well, Fury Cutter OP, I guess. Well, at least we got the first badge. That's one gym down. Next one will be the electric gym. I'm hoping that uh, I have a team ready for that, and I'm actually prepping a Pokemon right now in the daycare. 
hoping to get that ready. Well, anyway, folks, I do hope that you did enjoy the first episode of the P Pokemon uh, Unova region. So, and I do hope that you guys do join me for the next one. This is going to be a long-going series, so I'll see you next time, folks. See ya.